Hello again, you amazing subscribers and all the people who clicked this video accidentally. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the states of New Mexico and Hawaii. This is our preview, our weekly preview of all the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, December 4th, 2020. Uh, I will tell you guys that I was pleasantly surprised by all the nice comments you guys left last week on the YouTube channel about Happy Thanksgiving and Have a Happy Thanksgiving. I was surprised. Uh, I did have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys did as well. I ate an amount of pumpkin pie last week that could best be described as a preponderance, a preponderance of pumpkin pie. Uh, and I was reminded as to why for the past two Decembers we have not listed new properties. I was reminded of this. And that reason is because this guy, the disembodied voice, mentally checks out at Thanksgiving. I am done for the year at Thanksgiving. I want to sit around and do nothing for a month. Ship has sailed, the horse has left the barn. Whichever cliche you prefer to utilize, but the point is I am burnt out from 11 months of properties. Whatever the case, guys, we're white knuckling it over the last two weeks just to hit the even 400 number, 400 new properties in the year of 2020. So uh, we're working on it. We'll be here next week as well. Uh, it's four new properties this week and 12 next week. So wish us luck. Anyway, with all that said, guys, I do want to thank all the people who bought land from us these past 10 days. That list includes... In Taos County, Irene, Sam, and Desiree, returning customer Mason, and Adrienne bought one property from us, and then she became a returning customer and bought a second property from us. Thank you to all of them. Uh, in Rio Rancho, we sold land to Demian, Cac, and Camlon, and Aaron. Thanks to all of them. And then individual lots in different counties. Malman bought some land from us in Socorro County. William bought some land from us on the Big Island out there in Hawaii County. Uh, Gabe bought the new property from us last week in Rio Reba County, and Jorge bought the new Cibola County property from us last week. That's, by the way, returning customer Jorge. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of them. By the way, did not expect the Rio Reba to sell in a day. Uh, it was a little pricey, but it did. So, um, you know, more pleasant surprises last week. Anyway, with all that said, guys, new properties going live on the website this week. One of them we're going to start off with uh, is a property in the state we have not previously listed in. Is the state that I reside in. Ba-boom! Nevada! So the way this works, guys, is occasionally people call us. They're liquidating a family portfolio, and they've got 40 lots or whatever in New Mexico they want to sell, and they've got one lot somewhere else. And typically, 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 we will buy the property and then just list it with some local realtor in that place because I don't know the place. I don't feel like working with a title company out there. I don't want to hire a photographer. I don't want to learn the zoning. So we just list it with a realtor, and then eventually it goes. This one, however, came to us in Nye County, which sits just next to where I live down here in Clark County, and uh, it's in the town of Pahrump, and I know Pahrump pretty well, and so I did a little bit of research on the property. I saw that it was in a really good area. I saw that the seller clearly had no idea of what they were letting go of, and uh, so we scooped this one up, uh, and I'm very happy to have this on the website, and actually, as I've been researching this subdivision, other subdivisions around it, I think we're going to buy some more out there. We'll see. Whatever the case, as you can see from the headline, Residential lot, city utilities, it's got power at the lot line out here, it's got underground telecom lines at the lot line. Additionally, it sits in a region where there are available city water and city sewer lines, so you're not going to have to drill for, for a well out here. Now, if we bring this up on a map, first off, here's where the property is, as you can see it's in this residential area. The first thing that jumps out at you guys is that there's actually little addresses on the map. This patch of dirt, unlike patches of dirt in New Mexico, has its own formal address, 6410 Wedgwood Street. <clears throat> Whatever the case, it sits here in Pahrump. Um, pausing the video. I'm back from coughing my head off. It sits here in Pahrump, guys. Uh, if you don't know Pahrump, in Nye County, Nye County is larger than most, or than a lot of the states. It's larger than Vermont and, and, and New Hampshire and Delaware and Rhode Island and Maryland, so on and so forth. It's a massive county. It's one of the largest counties in the country. Uh, that being said, it's mostly desert. It's mostly mountains. It's a lot of Bureau of Land Management land. Uh, but in Nye County, you have their biggest town, Pahrump. Pahrump consists of about 36,000 residents. So it's all desert up to here. You drive about 15 minutes, you're out of town, and then it's all desert again for hours and hours and hours. Whatever the case, Pahrump is notable because it's got about 36,000 people, and it sits right outside of, relatively right outside of, the greatest city in the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, over here. So Pahrump has sort of become a kind of a bedroom community, if you will, for nearby Las Vegas. A lot of people live here and then commute into work, uh, whether it be on the Strip, which is about an hour west, or excuse me, hour east, uh, or uh, about 40, 45 minutes into Summerlin, South Summerlin, 
uh, the Mountains Edge area over here, and uh, they work in Las Vegas. It's kind of a bedroom community for Las Vegas, number one. Uh, but number two, there's, you know, there's a lot to offer out here in Pahrump. Now, if we zoom in on the map here again, uh, first off, you got a Walmart out here. And anytime you see a Walmart somewhere, you know that development is going to be occurring uh, quite a bit. Uh, as noted, about 45 minutes into Vegas, I think that that number, that drive time narrows every year because of development up Blue Diamond Road, up this 160 that goes through here. Uh, so it's going to be less and less in the years ahead, which is why I like Pahrump as just an investment region. Um, you know, right now, a nice home in Vegas, or well, a decent home in Vegas is about 300, 350,000, something like that. Uh, a really nice home out here is like 200,000. So it gives you a sense that there is, I don't want to say a mass exodus, but there is uh, certainly a contingent of people who are starting to not be able to afford Vegas, but who are coming out here living very comfortably and are just sort of, you know, making the drive back four or five times a week, however much they work, so on and so forth. Uh, so hence the Walmart, hence things like the uh, Home Depot that is over here. Uh, when's it going to come up on the map? Boom. There we go. Anyway, uh, you've got the Albertsons, you've got the Smiths over here, you've got uh, two casinos really close by, Gold Town Casino, and the, oh, where's it at? The Pahrump Nugget right here. Uh, additionally, you got pretty much any amenity that you're going to want out here, guys. Uh, there's the Desert View Hospital in this area. There's two major wineries out here. There's a little racetrack over here, a golf course, so on and so forth. Additionally, it should be noted that uh, Pahrump is in very close proximity to all the great sort of iconic outdoor attractions of Southern Nevada, and there's a bunch of them, guys. Red Rock Canyon over here, Mount Charleston, Lee Canyon. This is a skiing area, believe it or not, um, that we have out here in the desert. Uh, you've got the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge over here. You've got the, uh, the entrance to Death Valley up here by Beatty uh, right here, so on and so forth. Additionally, you've got Lake Mead over here. You've got Valley of Fire up here by Moapa, closer to Mesquite. A uh, lot going on out here in Southern Nevada, so a lot to see and explore. And oh, by the way, this tiny little gem that not a lot of people are aware of, the Las Vegas Strip. So this is a really good property, guys, and as noted, uh, city utilities, so on and so forth. Let me just go down here and show you some of the photos of this region. Um, yes, yeah, so right here, this is the turnoff from the 160. This is the corner where the property is. These are some of the homes that are in this area. As you can see, it's zoned for SFRs. It's zoned for single-family residences, uh, trailers with permanent foundations. Uh, so this is not necessarily a property that you're going to camp and park an RV on. Uh, there's temporary use permits for RVs that are available while you are building your permanent domicile. Look at how gorgeous this is, guys. This is why I live in southern Nevada. It's just gorgeous all the time. Anyway... Um, but yeah, this is the lot, and as I was saying about RVs, if you don't want to RV on the land, guys, fortunately, like a block down the street, there's this major RV resort. So if you buy the property and you're building out here, you can come and stay here for a few months. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, should be noted, of course, Pahrump, uh, legal gambling like the rest of the state, legal marijuana like the rest of the state, unlike the entire state, legal prostitution. So... Maybe that's something that appeals to you. Maybe it is something you're raising a family. You don't want to be around legal prostitution. But anyway, just wanted to make you guys aware of that in the interest of full disclosure. Whatever the case, guys, I really like this property. I would encourage you to check it out. Next up, in back in New Mexico, in Cibola County, had two properties we're going to go live this week. This one's been delayed one week. But uh, up here in the Tierra Verde Ranchettes, we've got another 10-acre lot. This one's priced at $9,000. A scooch less than this one simply because it does not have power to the lot line. Uh, this one, in all the driving directions videos that I give you guys, I usually take you from the highway all the way out to basically about right here, Camino de Agua Vida. That's where this property is located. It is actually, uh, it's 10 acres. It's not two adjacent fines. It's actually one whole giant 10 acre property that sits out here. Uh, of course, it does not have power at the lot line. There are no utilities out here. This is, uh, however, an ideal sort of like all the other Tierra Verde properties, an ideal sort of off-grid living, uh, you know, hunting cabin type region, place where you can sort of ideally, uh, you know, camp, RV, uh, tiny home, shipping container home, so on and so forth. I have made so many videos about Tierra Verde Ranchettes that I'm a little burnt out from that as well. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, if you've been on the website, if you've been on our videos any number of times, you know uh, exactly how sort of appealing this region is for a lot of people. Anyway, also going live this week, guys, in Socorro County, we've got a new one-acre lot down here. This one is notable because SCNM5164. It is notable because it is a corner lot with power at the lot line. If we bring this one up on a map, you're going to see this is out here, just north of the highway, just north of Highway 60. 
uh, off Lozano Street. And power runs up and down Lozano Street really for quite a while. So if we zoom in here on the property, you can see here's the power line. No, wait, excuse me. Where's Ah, here we go. This is the corner that it's on. This is not a well-cut-out road on this map here, but it is in real life. Anyway, so you can see there's power running along the lot line. It's a corner lot. And, of course, it's going to be up on our main Rio Grande Estates page on the spreadsheet, uh, linked right down here, Unit 2, Block 111, Lot 1, and uh, that will be going live tomorrow. And finally, guys, in Sandoval County, we've got three new properties going live this week, two that have been on the spreadsheet for some time that have finally been photographed, 18A and 18E, plus we have a new property, 17, uh, that is also out there in Unit 1. And, of course, as always, guys, go to our main Rio Rancho page and navigate to all of these from the spreadsheet. They're up here on the top. We're finally getting all these photographed for in Unit 1. I think we've only got, like, six properties left to be photographed. Uh, whatever the case, all of these, of course, in Unit 1 sit out on the western end of the subdivision, uh, very close to where the Rio Rancho Estate subdivision ends. So here's the dense population of Rio Rancho, and here's the end of the subdivision. So... This is the 17 properties over here. It's kind of a cul-de-sac lot. The other two are located out here, closer to the edge of town, and this area closer to the edge of town. Uh, of course, it should be noted that none of these properties have power at the lot line. They're not even close to utilities. So if you are looking at these as a serious candidate for places you want to build and buy, excuse me, buy and build on, uh, you're going to have to be relying on solar energy, just something to keep in mind. Anyway, guys, with all that said, check out all the new properties this week. Very excited about the new uh, Nye County property. And as noted, I think I'm going to be doing more buying out there in 2021. I really like what I'm seeing with some of those subdivisions. And, of course, Pahrump, uh, I think, is a good town for investment at this point. So, anyway, with all that said, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll be wrapping it up next week with the final 12 properties of 2020. Look forward to that. See you guys then.